Oh yeah, is the museum free? Oh yeah. It is. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah, I'll just look around. <laughs> I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> we don't require any kind of buying or paying. You just come in and enjoy what you see. Yeah. Okay. I want to learn all about the your the why there's uh, such an emphasis on uh, tomatoes. Oh yeah. So there's probably a section for that. Um it's just kind of all these are like this little thing is more about the business and the tomato festival over the years. Because there I mean there's like a lot of farm plots and stuff mm -hmm. for tomatoes, right? That's well well back in the, like the, the watermelons in those days early 1900s and into probably the 30s for sure yeah. uh, and 40s we were considered a truck crops growing truck it's called truck it's kind of like crops I, i'm, vegetables. I'm, I'm yeah. thinking like might be similar to italy or something like yeah well, maybe it's getting the right the right sun one. oh yes we grow as, great tomatoes and it's similar soil conditions and uh, moisture yeah. and we're maybe know, it's just similar where we're you know, there's there's like ridges in Mississippi, and we're in like the Pearl River kind of basin or whatever. Yeah. And a lot of, um, you know, a lot of the growing was done out that direction from town. My granddad. North. Is that north? Uh, it would be north. Heading towards Jacksonville. Jackson. Jackson would be like north. Uh, okay. See, that's east, like northeast of town is where my so grandparents. Me so I'm heading north, so I probably I may see some. Like history, I might see some like um, evidence of old. If you got, uh, well, on the interstate, probably if you were to go out, take a back road. If you were to go out up here to the four way stop and turn right and go on Highway 27 toward Georgetown. No, no, I want to go yeah. on north. So, so that area is where, where all, oh, a lot of growing okay. was. All around here for springs, really. Um, but so, they grew cabbage and and tomatoes and peppers and all kinds of vegetables but tomatoes were just our big deal because yeah. they grew so well and uh, one of the oldest people in the community was from Italy brought seed yeah, over here and realized well, like how the, good they grew. They grew like the Rome, the beef steak. Right and then they just started on. So I got a new dent in my car from a fallen tree limb. And it, is, it came off of this big branch and that's, it's kind of sturdy. I was able to reach it and feel it with my seven foot stick. A lot of things are falling. I parked underneath the trees. But uh, I'm gonna take the chance. I don't think anything else is gonna fall. So apparently the reason that this is up here, and it looks kind of new, it's got steel roofing, is because it's the spring house. So the water's bubbling up from the bottom. It's not considered safe springs. It's not like people can bathe. Something just jumped in the water. It's not like people can bathe in here. 
but they've protected it with the roof just so that it could stay uh, visible. But yeah, this is where water's coming up from the bottom, I guess. Not a whole lot. This used to be a, 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 a primary source of water for some businesses. Through traffic. Oh, Jesus. Interesting. Oh. Oh, no kids, huh? I didn't see any kids either, but he still had to stop. Jackson, Mississippi, in the library parking lot, Jackson. Uh, what? All right, downtown, unfortunately. We're downtown. Old capital, I think. Old Confederate, old Confederate capital. Here? What? No, it's. I'm glad nobody's behind me, especially a cop. So apparently the library shares the parking lot with uh, the cops. They all have undercover type vehicles. Undercover under the guise of emergency services. So if it's emergency services, they don't need to make it so clear that they're cop cars because they're just focused on responding to emergencies. That's what I'm assuming. Jackson Municipal Library sit-in. There's quite, I believe there's quite a few homeless people around here. I'm a little nervous about just walking over to the sign. So this is uh, downtown. I'm mainly here just to try to get on into a study room. Just here a little early right now. I was looking on Google Maps. I got confident that I could park for free, no problem. And I saw the sign that said library parking only. Because of that, I didn't see any cost. I figured, what the heck. Plus, it's also just very curious. This looks like a really old book. Wines of Burgundy. The Wines of Rioja, Israel. Oh, it's a Bible? New Zealand? Looks like a, well, it's just a beat up book. St at the Standard Oil Company. Oh. Yeah, the door's open. Is this a Standard Oil Company? Oh, <laughs> the outside door is locked. What do we got? Maybe I'll move over. Municipal? Heritage? I 
It looks neat, but I don't intend to do much exploration. It's like a big parking lot down there. I'll record this quick. But this library is a whites only library. Whites only. Check your skin color before entering. So this was an old capital uh, before Civil War. Very curious. Since I got time before the library opens. Sandstone carving. They don't even want, want people in this, this little area. Construction area. Silver doors. They are working in there. Doing something. Dim the of their deeds. Can't quite read that. Okay. It looks kind of like a style of an old capital. The capital green. I wonder if it's open now. No, nope, 10 to 2. Is Jackson the Capitol? That looks like a Capitol building. With the Golden Eagle. Alright, for some reason at the museum, the entrance, this Mississippi Department of Finance. Is parked in the parking lot. <coughs> <laughs> Three times. Oh, this is oh, a hotel. All right. I'm surprised this memorial hasn't been taken down. I think part of the reason is because the actual person is so far up there, they can't quite reach him. Oh, and then this guy is per. Who is that? Oh, Jeff maybe Jefferson Davis. In there, they can't quite reach him. They can't quite uh, deface, deface Jefferson Davis's statue. He's got that ladder standing right up. All right, some signage in front. 1839 to, oh, 1903. That well, doesn't sound like the, it's a state capital, not the Confederate capital, so it doesn't sound like the Civil War really affected it. Museum hours. No meeting rooms. Hmm. What? Huh? They don't want anybody sitting here. <laughs> they probably shut off the electricity too. I have no privacy here. Well, gotta keep moving. <laughs> Inspection. This is all at the library bathrooms. Shh. 
Yeah, I can't do anything here. I'm out. I just look for another library to go to. There's one six miles north of here. That looks interesting. I'm not too hopeful that I'll have a space to, to talk, but it might be a little better. Jackson, Mississippi at the Willie Morris Branch, north side of Jackson, Mississippi. All right, so they're just flat out closed here. Wow, operational challenges. The Wi-Fi seems to work. This is a homeless person's bag, umbrella, bag of stuff. I don't see them. But uh, yeah, I guess people can live around here as homeless people. So if somebody's leaving their bag here, probably a good chance that they shut off electricity if there's any outlet. Oh yeah, they definitely covered it. And uh, also you can see that the screws look a little loose. Operational challenges. What? What's that supposed to mean? There's a little outside hangout. Pretty nice. But I don't I don't know if there'd be would have been any any rooms that I could have done my, my like zoom hearing at here anyway. There's not gonna be any electricity outside. Yeah, they've covered up all the outlets. Alright, because the library is closed. There's a woods right next to it. I decided to uh, do a little exploration of the woods with my trusty walking sticks. I actually uh, found a hole that was covered by leaves with my walking sticks. I'd rather, I was thinking better to poke it with those sticks than step in it. I get the impression there's a bit of a trail here, but it's hard to say if it's a deer trail or human. Let's see, it leads off to the other side. And there's some old, old timey chair. But I don't know, they, they have to jump pretty hard, put in a pretty mighty jump to get across. And uh, this mud is, this mud is very loose. Jumping across, I'd definitely slip. Doesn't look like any feet marks anyway, it's all animal. Those thorns grab so hard, I rip my hat, just trying to wrench it free. Toasting without a toaster in the city hall parking lot. And I think I want to um, eat it with my eggs. And also I got sun-dried tomatoes in olive oil that I'm um, starting to eat again. I think I want to get some actual olives too. But uh, yeah, I stepped away from sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil. For a while and it has not it's not been a great step away because I I really don't like I'm not excited about tomatoes either fresh or in a package but yeah they're buried and they're pretty good but uh, I do rem remember liking sun-dried tomatoes and olive oil So he's just kind of pulling in. Is he going to turn off his lights? Racing the ambulance to the uh, police station, he turned off his lights. A cop did that before him, too. Turned on their lights at the intersection and then uh, turns them off as they enter what it kind of built this is a municipal building i believe it to be a police station that also houses the ambulance too he 
even the the fire department turns on their lights runs their siren and then when they get to the police station everything's off and it's like back to normal <coughs> you get a call or something sir did you get a call yes sir i did i did get to receive a call about you okay what's the what's the complaint suspicious vehicle in the parking lot of city hall no rush now After consuming this tomatoes and I don't know whatever it's called I felt my heart pop twice that's not a welcome feeling twice five I don't know three five minutes apart felt like maybe something was really given out I think I don't think I should be he eating that then I, maybe the that olive oil is no good too much fat at once or something I I mean I you can eat a lot of fat maybe you can eat a lot of fat throughout the day or something but not not in a short period of time so yeah, my circulation feels like it's kind of shut down. I don't like how I feel. Oils, no matter if it's olive oil or whatever, it's it doesn't help. It doesn't do my circulation any good. I don't care if garlic and herbs. It's not. I don't think it's the sulfites. I think the tomatoes are good. If I can re recollect my patterns of behavior here, it seems like when I return to the same spot, on day two, I'm more comfortable exploring around the area, especially when I'm comfortable to even return. So day one here in this park, I I just hung out around my car, and I got comfortable, so I came back. And now I think I might explore further around. In fact, well, the Walmart's not far, but there's also a Best Buy. I'd maybe walk around there and see what the latest technology is. Hands free. This thing turns on when I stay stand way back here. I don't think I'll catch this guy. He's advertising Dwight the door knocker Barnes on the side of his car. But he's pulling into the Longhorn Steakhouse. I might be able to get a glimpse of that. All right, and he's walking away. He rounded the corner. I've never seen ads like that. There's old Dwight. <laughs> I guess I could have gotten his attention. Whatever. All right, so I'm in the Walmart parking lot and I'm trying to decide if I want to get that Rode wireless mic that way it's something to play with maybe I can improve my audio it's not the best choice since DJI has a better wireless mic but I can it's it's sold right off the shelf. I just pick it up off the shelf right now for three hundred dollars. Wow, this is uh, the chives, that grayish green, looking really good. Yeah, I don't think I could cross. It's kind of hoping I could just move, walk over, but there's a river separating the Walmart from. Best Buy and there's a cop with his lights on might be private security in there So I'm parked at the, the Park where this tower is at it's pretty neat Liberty Park Pickens, Mississippi 84227 parked uh, at a library which used to be a garage Plug in. 
Goodman, Mississippi. Goodman, Mississippi. All right, I don't think I want to stay here very long. I wanted to go to that fun park, but it's entirely controlled by the, the college. I think a tree fell on this. This is interesting. It's a lot of pieces of a tree. It looks like it's got more to fall. I've never seen a tree having fallen on a air conditioning unit before. Completely destroyed. And the vents that goes to the building is, it was a big branch. Durant, Mississippi, 1338, 227, Durant. He was firing that thing off. Like this library because it's so busy. It's busy and decrepit in the parking lot. There's just no peace. I like that it opens so early though. So I cannot make it to uh, that softball park area, but I did see some turn-ins off of this road. Since it's such a dead end, I'm thinking it's going to be quiet. Maybe I could just park, maybe right, uh, I don't want to overlook anybody's house, and, especially when there's somebody outside. So I'm, I'm going to try to park uh, on this. On this. Winona, Mississippi, 1327, Winona. So this little dead end road's pretty nice and quiet. Google, or uh, Garmin um, still thinks it's a road that can get to the um <clears throat> some baseball field and there's evidence of pavement i think people in a big city would love to have a trail have a road like this nobody in this town takes this road for a little exercise walk or run but if this was in a big city there would be a ton of people going up and down this road this is one of them sleepy towns in America that Mm. the people aren't even they go it's like the way I see it is they might look at this as uh, you go down this road once you've gone down it a hundred times same old thing 